This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Today we are here at the Kennebunkport Fine Living Festival here with Mr. Jonathan Cartwright of the White Barn Inn. You're actually making a dish today that's inspired by a piece of art. Um, Certainly, and also the man that makes the piece of art. So yes. Lyman Whitaker is coming on to help us cook this, and he's a vegetarian and mm -hmm. does eat some fish, so uh, he enjoys that as well. But we're going to make a little vegetarian dish from artichokes. So explain, yes, explain our dish. These, um, sculptures. We're going to poach some artichokes, we're going to scoop out the center, and then we're going to fill them with a vegetable ragu using some local product that's in season at the moment. And then we're going to do a little saffron foam just for the top of it, just to accent it a little bit. Ooh. This one is a pretty easy dish, and um, Lyman is here, here to help us. And here we have our inspiration, Mr. Lyman Whitaker, also Mr. John Spain of the Main Art Gallery. Nice to see you again, Tina Marie. Who very happens nice. to be the president of the Fine Living Festival. Uh, and about yes. very hard it's on one of many world reviews. There's probably 100 people involved in this. Don't give me too much credit. He's very uh, modest about that but this beautiful sculpture that we have right here is from Mr. Lyman Whitaker and you are well known for your sculptures and they Thank decorate the, the main art gallery which we which we do some filming at. We, um, we have about 250 of Lyman's sculptures surrounding the property from five feet tall to 28 feet tall. Too many cooks in the kitchen I'm going to get You're off the set and let you do your thing. Though, right, I will John? I'll be back. Wonderful let's get to work gentlemen. Right. I'm going to start making begin? a little bit of the saffron sauce and Lyman's going to start scooping out the artichoke centers so we have like a little basket for the artichokes again. So Wonderful so tell me what you did cooked, to these artichokes. We cooked them a little bit earlier so you just okay. have to poach them off with a little bit of white wine, a little bit of salt in there, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Okay. And then we, you know, there's not much preparation to the artichokes. As you can see, there right. are some raw ones here that we have. And so all we did was just break off the bottom okay. and cut off the top so they fit in the pan and then just slow poach them. And we're just going to scoop out the choke and then we're going to have a nice little basket to present our vegetables in. So I'm going to just toast so gonna, these off so lightly. Grill them. Yeah. Nice so I little. want a little bit of the shape of the zucchini and the marks just to garnish the plate with, okay. just to make it look a little more like the sculpture. What first got you started in creating wind sculptures like this? Well, I think it's an interest. Uh, I've always loved the wind. You know, it's yes. not the most popular weather condition, but yes. I've always found it uh, mysterious and intriguing and, and a little dangerous. And so I think that's what got me into uh, wanting, you know, wanting to do an expression of the wind. Mm -hmm. right, a little bit of saffron to the saffron. sauce now, so it just Add some it color and, and taste. I'm just making a little bit of vegetable ribbons. In okay. An easy way, just with a peeler, no fancy piece of equipment needed, no expense at the. Um, and you're using uh, these Yukon gold potatoes. Yukon gold potatoes. And some carrot. And a, a little bit of carrot and a little bit of daikon on there. Daikon, very can, nice. You really don't have to use these. We just wanted a little bit of the color. I'm gonna pop those back in the poaching liquor just okay. to warm them back up, and you can cool them down in the poaching liquor as well. It's uh, no problem. Put them in your refrigerator. I'm gonna just slowly cook off some vegetables to go in the middle of it, and all we're gonna do is use a little bit of butter. We're gonna just strain off this sauce because we're gonna use the sauce also for poaching up. And flavored again with our beautiful saffron. There's some, there's some great aromas coming from these dishes now. I mean, especially with these nice fresh vegetables. What we're going to do, we're going to use this, you know, just a little bit of a layering effect around the outside. Oh, a little way. bit of ribbons to it, just to make it look a little more wind swept. So we, you're just foaming that up a little bit. I think we're ready to taste, don't you? We are. Here with our special guest, John Spain, Lyman Whitaker, of course, Jonathan Cartwright. Pull the artichoke a little bit to pieces and obviously... Oh, I see. You, Here we go. I think I'm going to start with a carrot. Ooh. <laughs> Vegetarian, right for the carrot. The carrot Actually, was perfect. With the, with, the, with the leaves, obviously, like when you eat artichoke vinegar, you just eat a little bit out of the bottom there. Mmm. That's beautiful. very, very good. That's beautiful. And so marvelous to be enjoying it right next to Lyman's beautiful piece of art influenced. We're inspired here in the chef's kitchen today. I want to thank you all for being with us. Celebrating fine food, fine wine, fine art, fine cuisine, and just all around fine living. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.